What's up, everyone? Welcome to Planet Xbox Podcast. Uh, shout out to Weapon Will, Weapon Will Patreon, uh, Planet Xbox viewers. How are we doing, Attic? How are you? Doing good, man. Uh, this has been a, a crazy week, and uh, it doesn't feel like it's getting any uh, less crazy. Uh, you know, there, there's actually, did you see, well, actually, we'll save it for later on in the show. Um, now I've been checking out your streams. I see that you've been on the treadmill and gaming at the same time. You probably yeah, name those streams. I was thinking about naming something crazy, like I'm going to keep going until I pass out or something like that. But, uh, I don't think I'm there yet. Cause, uh, you know, my community likes to troll me on stuff like that. And I don't think if I, obviously, you know, putting something like going till I pass out is joking. Yeah. But I don't want like my audience to think I'm legitimately going to do this till I pass out. No, absolutely. Cause they would actually expect you to do so. Um, what have you been playing? Um, playing what's that uh flintlock i've been playing the original fable mm -hmm. i've been streaming that a lot um i did get i don't know if you saw this but we have codes for marvel uh the marvel game Isn't marvel rivals no but it, it, it's free when it comes out but it's not out yet oh wow okay i gotta get we, we got one. beta codes we got beta codes awesome awesome uh that's what's up yeah so I've been playing a lot of Flintlock, beat the game, review is up, check it out on the channel, on my kid's smooth channel. I got a few boss guides and I got the full review out. Um, I, I enjoyed the game. It has, it has some flaws. Uh, I think my review is in line with the Metacritic, which is about 71. So I think this is probably like my first accurate score where I agree with the, uh, the general public in the game, uh, but I, I, I enjoyed the game. You would you'd see me play in it every day. You wouldn't, it, it's not a seven. It's not a bad seven. It's, it's a, it's a good seven, you know? Um, it's a cool game though. I like playing it. It makes you, I, I'm, I'm trying to go for the hundred percent completion. I think I'll have that done honestly, uh, this week. And I think after I, uh, I, uh, do the hundred percent completion on that, I think I got about 88% of the, all the achievements. Um, I'm, I'm, I feel like I want to go into like Thymesia. I want to revisit Thymesia again. Um, and, 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 but I have to buy it because I think I played it as a trial. I want to you know, do that and then try to uh, uh, play through some, you know, B tier, C tier Souls like games. Um, I've been playing college football. Um, I haven't played it in a little since I think we uh, that day, but I've been wanting to run it with some people. I like just playing against other people. Um, I haven't purchased the game yet. I'm am utilizing the EA Access trial through Xbox. Yeah, game right. Pass. Let's be honest here. You're trying you're trying to troll someone to take you upon your little gambling spree because you you're a gambling addict at heart. You're just not a gambler, <laughs> and um, you're trying to have them pay for your game. And yeah, I would more than love for somebody to pay for a copy of the game. I can't justify. Uh, you know what I mean? Hey, maybe a uh, game pass of condition me. You know what also happened? My headphones broke. You see this? The most uncomfortable thing. Um, one one headpiece earpiece has cushion, the other doesn't. So like my air gets like dumb irritated. So I definitely need new headphones for sure. Um, I don't know how it happened, uh, but that's one of the things. Now. This week, I'm 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 so lost in the sauce. Uh, uh, as far as like news, we know that the FTC wants to, uh, uh, you know, they bought it to the uh, the courts about you know doubling down, like how Microsoft Activision deal is bad for consumers, and they're now pointing at the price increase. We know Microsoft jab back, uh, but the thing that came out was that the FTC is a degraded service. Um, what are your thoughts? Um, and that, and do you think it makes a difference in this, in this case? Do I think that they're going to like clap back probably to some degree? Do I think it's going to be relevant to the conversation? Probably not. You know, I think for the most part, exactly what happened before this was intended is going to happen after. I don't think nothing they can say he's going to change it at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, do they now, if you ask me, do they have a little bit of a claim to their allegations? I would say yes. Uh, you know, to a degree. Cause it's like they, they removed, uh, 
you know, day and date game pass to the entry fee. They raised it because, you know, entry fee to a game pass used to be 10 bucks. Uh, then they raised it to 11 and then on the console, they eliminated the 11 if you're a new user and they make you pay 15, but then on 15 day and day game pass games ain't there. So you have to pay, you have to pay 20. Uh, so I do think they have some, you know, truth to their statements. Do I think it's enough to like, you know, have any significant role in the, in the actual experience? Probably not. Yeah. Understand, understandable. Um, the, um, the crazy thing is right. Now I think about it, the current game pass subscription models that people are subscribed to now, they're pretty much essentially locked in. They're probably not locked into the price, but they're locked into the subscription unless they cancel. Right. Mm -hmm. So, that tier that everybody's in, like the regular Game Pass tier, um, doesn't go away unless they cancel or upgrade or downgrade. Oh, my yeah, and, and, the, and the thing is, is like, you know, I've said, and, you know, I actually feel like, uh, you know, this community will actually resonate with me on that as mm -hmm. I don't, I don't agree with that practice. I don't like that we are, you know, essentially telling people that it's okay to, you know, charge one fan base that's using your service more than the other. Mm. You know, it, it, and and people's like, oh no, they're just they're uh, you know they're not charging more. Yeah, they are, because you have to get Game Pass Ultimate to fully enjoy if it. you want day and day games on on console for new users, but on PC. You could still get basic PC Game Pass. Smooth. How often do you play games on PC on Windows? I, I, I it's once in a while. I don't, I don't use so it how, often. Only when I use my Rogue you, Ally, pretty much. How and often I, do you use cloud, cloud computing? Rarely. So, theoretically, it makes more sense for you to have regular Game Pass for console and not Ultimate. True or false? Um. No, it makes statistically off what you just said. Based off what I said, it makes more sense for me to have. Oh, I get what you're saying. But, well, yes and no, because I actually play the day one games. Oh, but, but what I'm saying is you as a console consumer. Yeah. Don't play none of the shit ultimate offers. And that's why, you know, I, 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 I laugh when people say, well, 80% of people still want ultimate. First off, that doesn't excuse the behavior. You know, you you don't force people to get into something because eighty percent of people was in it anyway. And there's people like you that get an ultimate and don't use anything that the the service provides, but the one that that you could have got with the lower service. But after or oh, September something, you will have no choice but to get that ultimate if you leave any of the game passes at any time. From what I'm being told, and then you have to get ultimate. But on PC, you could still get regular Game Pass. And I don't like that. I think mm -hmm. that's that's very, uh, you know, first off, that's spitting in the face of, the, of the, the console consumer that's been with you since day one. That is contradicting to Phil Spencer's statement when he said, if you've already, if you can't grow, you either expand to other audiences or you continue squeezing the audience that you currently have. Uh, my friends, he's squeezing us still, and he's still expanding to other platforms. So it's like, which one is it? It's both. <laughs> is that, that's my point, and it just yeah. feels like no matter what I say, I'm doom and gloom. No matter what I say, I'm, what, what are they called? The muster heart. So you guys are just okay with getting screwed. I you guys are just okay with uh, you know, essentially a company sitting there looking at you and say, those PC people, we don't want to approach them. We know they won't take our shit, but you will. So you bend over, but we ain't doing nothing to them. If you don't got the balls to stand up to one community, do not take those consequences to the other community. Either do it to both or do it to none. Um... I need to see what does B. Uh, I have to start looking at this. Okay, all right. So PC Game Pass doesn't grant you access to console, right? But it grants you. 
essentially the same games. And sometimes you get exclusive console games that consoles don't even get. But name me the last exclusive co- uh, console game that w- uh, like that Xbox makes that was only on a console, not PC. <laughs> um, but I can name you situations where it's been the other way around. Yeah. Um, I'm st- I think I, I'm I'm one of those that thinks that it should be um one 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 thing. Game Pass, that's it. And charge whatever you charge. This game this is Game Pass and wherever platform you have to play it on, it works with your Game Pass subscription just works with all the devices you have. So if you play on PC, you play you pay for Game Pass, you play on console, you pay for Game Pass. Like I don't think there should be tiers with it. I think the only tiers that should exist is it, the tiers that are essentially exclusive to like the platform right so there's um you either get the all-in-one right which i think should be just that should just be the tiers the all-in-one or if you do the the all-in-one um or whatever it is like so maybe it's you know five dollars or ten dollars for cloud only or you know ten dollars eleven dollars for pc only or you know ten dollars for console only and then 20 for all of it like like the problem is is most people See that ultimate is like a console tier. When you look at Game Pass Ultimate, do you consider that a console Xbox, a console game tier, Game Pass tier? Um, I can I, I look at it as an all in one. The thing is, I'm subscribed. that's what I see. I don't see yeah. it as as an Xbox or a PC thing. I see that as if you want everything Game Pass and and the Xbox ecosystem has to offer, this is the the subscription for you. I see, I, uh, I see Game Pass for the console as one, and I see Game Pass for the PC as one. And to me, and we're sitting here, and we're saying, why does it matter? X amounts in Game Pass, eighty percent of people's already in Game Pass. Then why don't they just eliminate the the PC version? Because smooth, eighty percent of people's an Ultimate. So why does it matter? Because you could use that same logic mm-hmm. and flip it on the PC crowd too. If it does not matter, why does the PC people still are able to pick? Okay, no, that's fair. That no, that that's a fair point. Um, so question: there is, is there's I think your beef really is that the PC version of Game Pass that's not Ultimate still gets day one games, but there is no console equivalent that still gets day one, right? Outside of no, Ultimate, that that's that's my issue. Yeah, th- okay, that's a f- that's that- a fair issue. That is a fair issue. That is a fair issue. Okay. My issue is, it, I understand the PC crowd won't accept certain practices, and that's fine. So you mean to tell me that you care more about upsetting the PC community than you care about screwing over the the console community? Yeah. No, that's a that's 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 a because the one. moment the moment people are like, okay, you know, we can't do this because the PC thing. Who the hell in the building said, okay, then let's do it to console? What? <laughs> like, it, just just think about that. Like, imagine, because they're not doing it any other aspect in their company. You can't, like, go to Windows and, and, and you have to buy the whole year up front on, like, on like laptops. But but you can't, I mean, uh, wind, uh, not Windows, uh, Office. Let's say, okay, equivalent to being Office on, on, on desktop. You could you have to buy a year up front, but on 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 laptops you don't. You know what I'm saying? Like it literally, people are sitting there trying to like spin this in a hundred different ways to make it not matter. Tell me a reason why they should do it, and no one no no one has told me a logical reason why it's okay for Microsoft to do it. But they're saying everything in their in their power to to dismiss why they're doing it instead of telling me why they should do it. Why is it a yeah. good excuse? There's no excuse. They're, they're screwing no. over the console uh, uh, c- customer. And anyone defending it, you're delusional at this point. It's okay to understand that this is how business works. And sometimes certain consumers get screwed over in the long run. It's not okay to, uh, to, uh, to co-sign it and act like it's not wrong. No, I, no, I get it. You got a legit, uh, a legit, a legit complaint, in my opinion. Um, if for that being an option, the, the thing that there's a PC pretty much an option that still gets this main perk 
that they're uh that at cheaper and the only way the console version gets this perk is by going in essentially to the highest tier. Yeah. Yeah, and that's, that's with, a problem. Uh, just to clarify that that's with newer users. That's not everyone. Yeah. But but at the same time, people say what well, doesn't affect you? Why do you care, addict? So when I say I don't care about Call of Duty, you say, but you're not talking about you. You're talking about the Xbox consumer, and Call of Duty is a big IP. So I could say that, and that's not a, okay. You know, I could say that, and just because I don't like Call of Duty, I can't say fuck Call of Duty. But when it comes to this, and I can't say, yo, this isn't right. What about the overall consumer? Why do you care, addict? It doesn't bother you. So what? Make it make sense. So I can either complain about stuff that doesn't involve me or not complain about stuff that involves me. Make it make sense. So, uh, so Game Pass is going up. The FTC think they got something against their argument. Um, it, it is, I don't know what's going to happen, but on the other side of things, um, they do have this the new Nvidia perk, which has been showing up on the I think the Xbox UI uh, when you um, decide to stream an Xbox game. You have the option to stream it through cloud gaming or Nvidia service, and I think Nvidia service is like the superior service, right, in terms of quality of the stream. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really care about when it comes to stuff like that. <laughs> uh, you know, people sit there, you know. I people want to act like because they live in like really big areas, really big cities, mm -hmm. that 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 the internet in that area applies to the rest of the country. Yeah. I literally just got access to fiber internet after all this time, and, and, and it's not that I wouldn't buy it; it was not available in my area. I literally just got access to it, not even six months ago. So you mean to tell me it's a life changer? That, yeah, it's a, and what's funny is people act like that type of internet is common, that that's the type of internet everyone. No, that is, that is the that is the exception, not the rule. Most people that are rocking around have shitty internet, and, and, and maybe it's not defined as shitty internet in general. A lot of people have that basic internet that you're not going to really, you know, that's not going to really change your your life too much. And that's just the, the the honest sense of the matter. Yeah. You know, people, most of the internet, especially like when you're in like the Texas area, oh, you, you cooked. <laughs> I don't think this was really designed for our consumer base. This was mainly designed for people in like Japan, China, areas where they've kind of left the console, mar the console market behind significantly. I think that's where this has really uh, was designed to be effective in doesn't yeah. mean that people can't use it in the States, but you know, you mean to tell me that sometimes I can't play a YouTube video driving around, but I'm supposed to be able to like effectively stream a game off my phone. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like people, people just like, it's a cool technology and a cool concept, but I do feel like people get ahead of themselves. So, oh, this, no, this ain't doing shit. I'm going to be honest. This ain't doing shit. This is going to go out there. It's going to be a good side choice for you to use and how you want to interact with stuff. But as a whole, this ain't doing shit. Like, this is like, because was, was the last time you was driving around? And not to mention with something like the Switch around, you know? And, and with another thing, like, they're supposed to be making a handheld console. So yeah. What the hell is that supposed to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so it's just like, this is one, and I understand why Microsoft and, and Xbox is important because they want to make sure that, you know, in the long run that they're safe. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's like, I think you're getting ahead of yourself. Like you, you are in too many markets. What do you no, mean? They, like, in too oh, many they're market. trying to get in the console market. Mm -hmm. They're trying to get in the handheld market. They're trying to get in the cloud streaming market. They're, they're also trying to, to, to get in TVs with Halo, and I heard a Gears thing going around. Like It's like, fam, you can't even dominate any of them or even compete in any of them. 
and you sit here making me believe that you should keep expanding outside of the shit that you can't even win in? Uh, hey, um, I would again. They got they got to grow the market some way somehow. Um, I I am. But though- the thing is, is you have a very negative brand in a lot of people's eyes. There's rumors that they're spending a fraction of the the marketing budget that Sony's spending, and you're going to tell me with a straight face, smooth, with a straight face. Let me bring you up on Discord with a straight face that you think that all of these things mean they should expand into other markets. Um, I just think Microsoft should uh release quality games at a consistent cadence. I do think they need to focus on. I do think they should try to focus on the console market and to, you know, improve in there and, and let everything and, else fall where they may. Because I think the and it's okay can lead to charge. It's okay to build that infrastructure. I don't want people thinking I'm not saying don't. Don't plan ahead. But at the same time, Smooth, you're literally making marketing telling people to not buy consoles <laughs> for these other areas that you're getting into. And I bet you, and I, I, I don't I haven't did that an ounce of research, but I'm willing to, to put an educated guess out here. If you'd go back and you would look at a, a at a chart of all the numbers and all the analytics from Microsoft and Xbox, I would willing to bet you that. The moment they stopped focusing on the console, that's when the Game Pass subscription started going more and more down. Because they weren't selling as many consoles, yeah. so there wasn't as many options to subscribe to Game Pass. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I so think... once again, what the hell's going on? Look, and people sit there, addict, you're being too negative. You're being a, a negative Nancy, doom and gloom. But then no one can explain to me any rational way why they make the decisions they make. (laughs) um, On a positive note, (laughs) uh, things might be turning around. They they might turn (laughs) around uh, for Xbox. Maybe, you know, this little game called College Football 25 uh have could have the potential to show Microsoft like hey console sales still matter and there's still people interested in buying a console it just takes the right game to move it along so reports have it that you know obviously uh college football 2025 is a big seller 2 million users during early access which is the $100 version um and there are reports of increased sales of the Xbox Series X, not not X, but S consoles in line with this game. Um, limited quantities available on Amazon sold out. Um, you know, Gaming Forte, a good friend, Gaming Forte. Uh, he, I believe he's he he manages a GameStop, I believe, and he says like he can't keep a, a Series S in stock and it's for college football now. This is this is a good thing for Xbox. Now, will Xbox capitalize on it? Will they uh, take advantage of this surge in new players? Because every new person that buys that Xbox Series S console is that's a Game Pass subscription. It's a Game Pass. They want to play online. That's a Game Pass subscription. Um, what like what does this mean for like Microsoft and Xbox and and do you think do they reinvest or look at their consoles and say hey, hold up maybe we should do something here? I think that that should be there. Well, here's the thing: like people say, well, X Xbox they don't consider uh you know the console, which is literally called Xbox, the center of their attention. I'm like, I don't understand like why that's not the center of your attention. Yeah. Everything should be built off the back of Xbox, not the other way around. Absolutely. You can still get people the other options, but when you make Xbox do better, it carries over to the rest of the whole, uh, all their services, all their games. Uh, you know, it, that, that's why, like, I think it's just hilarious and it's a joke when people act like they're not capable of cutting support. It's like, right now it might be fine, but if next gen 
because of this mixed messaging and the way that they're handling the brand in terms of exclusives, the way they're handling the brand in terms of messaging, the way they're handling the brand in terms of, uh, of you know, first th and third party. Because when, when's the last time that you saw them market like a big, big game? College football. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> like, they, they don't do it that often. And it's just like, if college fucking football was able to... Now, let, let's... Let's put respect on the damn game's name. I don't, I'm not going to play it. But I understand that game hasn't been around in like 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 years. So that would make sense that you would get this type of hype from people. Uh, Microsoft has access to like two or three of the biggest games in the industry. And mm -hmm. they still let that shit come out on last gen. Call of Duty, for, uh, Call of Duty um, Minecraft. It's another game. I feel like they own one more. Even if it's just two, Call of Duty, Call of Duty and Minecraft, and Mike. Halo, uh, Elder Scrolls, like Fallout, well, just so, yeah, but those like, games aren't out. But uh, the, I'm like, talking about the biggest two games that's on the industry. Like, there's very few games bigger than Call of Duty, and very few games bigger than Minecraft. Yeah. yeah. How many consoles do you think they would have sold if they if they put only on Xbox and PlayStation Five? Xbox Series S and X and PlayStation 5 on that Call of Duty case this year. Yeah, no, they would have definitely... They, now, it, it now would have been a surge, yeah. I understand that from a, a financial standpoint, it makes more sense to put that as many places as possible that you could sell a, play, uh, a console. Mm -hmm. For a third-party publisher like EA, I would say Activision, but that's no longer the case. EA, Ubisoft, um, you know... Devolver well, Digital, some Microsoft of the bigger is indies. essentially a third-party publisher with Activision. When they when they release Activision games, they're acting as like a third-party publisher. Well, no, so that stuff still. But what 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 I'm referring to is it makes more sense for Ubisoft to to not care about mm -hmm. only on a, a platform, yeah. or on everything because Ubisoft has no mm -hmm. nothing in the race at all. They have nothing at, at stake. But when it comes to Microsoft or you know. Especially Microsoft, because they have access to Call of Duty this year. Mm -hmm. They have stake in the console industry. They have stake in the install base. It makes more sense for them to just cut a line and say, these Minecraft updates from now on, only on the next series consoles. This Call of Duty, only on next series consoles. And all. And let's be real here. People cut support from the last platforms. It's been so many years very few people are going to complain, especially if you did it on Minecraft where you did it where the features that you gain from going next gen or current gen. It's crazy. We have to say next gen three, four years into the into the console generation. Current gen, if the features are worth the jump. Oh, you know, bigger worlds, you know, uh, more enticing features. But for some reason, you know, I can understand Minecraft to some degree, but it's like, I don't care how much money they would lose by making uh, Call of Duty next uh, current gen only. You need to sell consoles. How is this industry, Sony and Microsoft included, is going to do nothing but bitch about the console market not growing, but do shit zero to like to grow the console market. Um, Shit, Sony up until like last year, everything was on last gen. Like the biggest games that PlayStation has released this gen has been on the PlayStation Four. So they literally shooting themselves and not one foot. Both feet, and then blaming the the in industry that it's not growing, that consoles aren't selling. Yeah, they um, I think it would would have been dope to have called for them to do like do the call off a of Call of Duty just to test with the market. But I feel like this one, being that it was the, the first Call of Duty like with them at the helm, they kind of had to do it, you know, especially all the promises. I feel you, but yeah. at the same time. They had no problem popping in Bethesda and say, I know that you've been working on that PlayStation 5 version of Starfield. Fuck that shit. Get that up out of here. <laughs> and uh, why'd they do that? Because they wanted to sell what? Xboxes. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Um no, I, told you, I, I look man the like I told you like and it's not even it's not even the consoles that are getting on my nerves. Like Xbox or PlayStation. It's the damn fanboys. <laughs> like I, I'm I, I'm 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 being serious. Like I'm starting to not like the Xbox community in any way, shape, or form. That's not all of them. A lot, most of them are very good to to interact with. But it's just like you mean to tell me because no one calls PlayStation out for any Xbox out for anything. I can't say how I feel without being called a doom and gloom. Smooth. Out of all the years that you've known me, how many times have I talked about going? And, and this is privately too. Have I ever told you? Yo, I, I, I'm, I'm dropping the Xbox, bro. I'm going to PlayStation. I'm playing over there exclusively. Nah, nah, nah. Never. Ha, have I ever told you I'm going to start making PlayStation content? No. Have you ever felt like in any way, shape, or form, I was an undercover pony undercover making pony. Xbox content? Nah, nah. Um, no, I mean, the thing is, though. Uh, I summoned to Xbox court. Because I was defending, and the shit that blows my mind about this is I get summoned to Xbox court, and it was a cool little concept. It didn't really matter to me. Those yeah. people over there actually wasn't really that bad. But okay. I get summoned to Xbox court, and I'm like, the part that blows my mind is I get summoned to Xbox court because I say Xbox should treat console users the same they treat PC users. And somehow I'm a pony. I'm an undercover pony for defending the console consumer. Make it make sense. I'm telling you, but people are, has had it. Uh, they don't want to hear, you know, negative Xbox commentary. Then I am not the content creator for them. <laughs> and that I think that that's what it comes down to. And again, like, uh, <laughs> See, I'm not going to just make up random negative news. I'm not going to completely hinder on something weeks and weeks at a time. Mm -hmm. uh, for the most part on The Attic Show, you look, we talk about different shit every week. We don't sit here and go on giant rants for 40 minutes every week talking about Xbox has no first party lineup or Xbox, you know, Kids Mood likes to talk about, doesn't do marketing. We talk about the daily and the weekly news. Every week on Attic Show, every week on uh, on on ILP. So if you're upset, and I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you. If you're upset that I'm talking about negative Xbox news on a week-to-week -week basis, you need to talk to Microsoft and Xbox because they're the ones dropping the fucking ball 24-7, not me. I'm only covering what everyone else is covering. Why is it when I talk about stuff I don't like about PlayStation, there ain't no doom and gloom in my chats. But the moment I sit there and say I don't like the fact that, you know, that PC is getting ex pretty and essentially an exclusive Game Pass tier at this point for new users, why are you being negative, addict? Why ain't you spinning this in a positive way? Because I don't do toxic positivity. It don't matter what the fuck you guys do. You can harass me day to day, Make fun of the way my teeth look. Attack me on Twitter 24-7. I am never going to bend the knee to not giving criticism to a company that's deserving of that criticism. That was a rant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I... I Microsoft Xbox obviously deserved uh, some of the criticism. Again, I've been no stranger of criticizing them for their marketing efforts. And then now with the, the director of marketing, whatever, coming out saying they can't afford to, they don't got the marketing budget. It's kind of strange for a trillion dollar company to tell us they ain't got the budget to market games like Sony does. It just doesn't make sense. It's like, it's like, and, and you it's know like going funny? to a home. It's like literally going a, a, a rich man going into a homeless shelter. Be like, ah oh, man, I'm hungry. I can't afford to eat. You know what I mean? That it, it's like a slap in the face. Come on, bro. Like you, uh, they they can. They're just refusing not uh, to. You know what the 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 most hilarious thing about that is? 
is where the hell is everyone talking about that? No one's making videos about it. No one's talking about it on podcasts. It's like, were you literally looking at like a, 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 a trillion dollar company? Like they can literally buy and sell PlayStation probably eight or nine times, probably even more than that. And they got more money for marketing than them. What? Like what? Once again, Microsoft can buy PlayStation multiple times and sell them off multiple times and still wouldn't really hit their bank too hard. And they don't out market PlayStation. Does that make any sense to you, Smooth? No, it, it, it doesn't. When I first read it, I'm like, maybe... You know, when it comes to like maybe Microsoft and Xbox, it maybe Microsoft is just a bank and Xbox is this is legit own business and they can't afford it. And in that case, then I look at Xbox less than PlayStation. Um, because yeah, Microsoft makes a lot of, you know, money, but Xbox probably doesn't if it, if it, if it, if they're treating treating it that way. So it's sad because that pretty much determines that xbox marketing is not going to improve and it also confirms that microsoft is or xbox is not getting that gta marketing deal <laughs> oh uh, is that would that like solve a lot of their issues probably not it would be very good and i think they yeah. should go for that yeah uh i'm not gonna sit here and say like call of duty i mean gta would solve like all their marketing issues uh the biggest mm. issues that microsoft has is in their own fucking building yeah it's how they message shit, mm -hmm. how they spend money in their own studios. Mm -hmm. The management at some of their studios is, is atrocious. How about you handle that shit? And then we could talk about getting big marketing ideals. Uh, now, if they're willing to pay the money, I'm 100% I'm for it. Because it's like you should probably try to put your brand next to that. If they're willing to spend that money... By all means, do that because that would be a very good look for them. But, uh, you know, as far as like saying that's like the end all be all, I don't necessarily agree with that, but I don't think it wouldn't hurt. Yeah, man. Um, nah, marketing is important. And um, and if if marketing isn't as important, then the, the game release cadence um, right now, yeah, we're we're at the. We're at the end of July at the time of this uh, recording. We still don't have a release date on their the biggest games that they got dropping this year. Um, Hellblade, by and large, flopped because it was not marketed. Um, for like a month. And see, and then like when, you know, the, the person in Europe says that the American budget can't be too much higher. Yeah, absolutely. So not. it's yeah. like. Are we blaming the marketing department or the people cutting the checks for the marketing department? Like you sitting here pretty much having Aaron Greenberg, poor, poor man over there, like doing millions and millions and millions of dollars in marketing for a fraction of the cost. Like I, I was told not too long ago that the marketing was dramatically cut mm -hmm. and Aaron was working with a fraction of the budget he used to have. Mm -hmm. But I never thought it was that bad. That PlayStation is is marketing more, and the way that that dude worded those, he used words that made it made me think that he would love to have PlayStation fund m funding. Yeah, yeah. The fuck you mean you would love to have a multi billion dollar fund? That just blows my mind. That a lead marketer in Europe envies the marketing budget for playstation like they come because it's one thing it's like yo you know they, they 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 use a slightly different you know marketing deploy but we have about the same amount it's just they they spend their money in more efficient ways than we do the way that man was talking i'm i'm making marketing moves with my piggy bank yeah. and they out here writing checks yeah yeah man it sounds like they're struggling they're scrappy they gotta do they gotta be creative um, it's, it, it's just strange, man. It's, it's a really strange thing to hear, uh, over at Xbox. Um, and I hope they, man, I, I really hope things in, in improve. Um, that like said, it, it's, 
it's been disappointing um because the thing is i like the platform so much i like gaming on it and at this point i'm at like a like i've been you no know, keeping myself you know busy so i'm not even even like tripping over the the lack of the things they're doing uh, i think they're still poised to have a good year um but there's clearly things that can be doing better but if their marketing budget took that took that much of a hit then you know all the marketing this year is going to call of duty it's not even going to be on xbox it's just mark call of duty that's the marketing budget it's call of duty <laughs> uh, imagine all their their marketing budget was consolidated to whatever call of duty's marketing budget is so so that means all of other things stop and all the marketing is just based off whatever the budget is for call of duty which and could be a big budget but for call of duty which is good enough but when you factor in everything else i don't I don't want people thinking I know how to run a multi-trillion dollar company in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. But it's just like, how many times have we been in this situation, Smooth, where we look at a decision Microsoft and Xbox are doing with the brand and say, that ain't going to work? And how many times has that not worked? It, it, I don't think anything... Uh, more times than not, it doesn't work because... I don't think Microsoft does uh, case studies well or test marketing very well at all. And if when they do test marketing, I don't think they read the results very well. Um, like I, my thing is, I just do the eye test. Like when I'm about in the world and I'm watching TV or I'm listening to music or whatever, the things that catch my eye, the things that are in front of me all the time, uh, I think that's good marketing, right? Microsoft and their products isn't in front of me all the time. Now, obviously, I can't say that because of Windows and everything. But in terms of their consumer products, like I'm not, I'm not seeing Xbox everywhere. I'm not even seeing Game Pass everywhere to the point where you know every time when you're watching TV, right, or watching something, you get a trailer, and a trailer half the time is a, a, a trailer for a show that's coming in on either Netflix, Hulu, Paramount, whatever. There, there's marketing. It's I don't get that same thing from like Xbox. And I think Xbox, what Xbox needs to do, because since they're doing all this, like, you know, you know, streaming and subscription, their marketing has to be broader. Cause at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, you're competing, com competing with PlayStation and switch, but you are also competing with other mediums like movies, shows, because if I'm Microsoft and I'm Xbox, my goal for, as for marketing, I need to convert. I need to have these people trade their movie time for game time. I need their inner trade. I need to. T I my goal is to transition pro uh, uh, potential customers from movie watchers to video game players. That's how. That's how they really have to look at it. It's like they have to pretty much find a way to bring game, like you know what. You know, we got to bring, we got to get more people playing video games. And if they did marketing that way, then, because at the end of the day, what's the point? I don't care about no Xbox on Fire Stick and stuff like that. But you have to, you, the only way you get people to care about that is market to the people. You got to get them out of their, whatever they do for entertainment and get their habits to gaming. Get their habit. You got to get their habits from watching TV to gaming. Get their habits from watching sports to gaming. Get their habits from doing whatever to gaming. That's how to pretty much how you do it. That's how you're going to grow the market. That's how you're going to grow your audience base. You have to get people into gaming. And um, they got a long way to go because, like I said, they, they can't even effectively market to gamers. So here I am telling them they got to market to people that aren't gamers to bring them into gaming. Um, and I think there's an attempt to do that. I just don't think they're doing it right um, because I feel like the Xbox console has to be the head of the snake, right? It has to be the driving force. Um, and then second is Game Pass. And I think if those things are like your leading brand, like the console or and, and Game Pass, um, and then the biggest games that are in a subscription, things will fall into place. I think, I think even with this thing with college football and everybody buying Xboxes and stuff like that, like, you know, college football is eventually going to sell Game Pass, right? Because it, you're going to people are turning on their Xbox more. They're going to see the little, you know, things at the bottom of the screen. They're going to see the promotion for Madden because, you know, Madden is going to be on the trial um, 
at the end of this month. They're gonna, there's going to be a lot of like, okay, like the hooks. It's just that I don't know if Microsoft is uh, strategic enough or trendy enough to take uh, to take advantage of those opportunities and to market effectively. Um, I think I think they are, but I think the biggest issue that we're having is I feel like there's too many cooks in the in the in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. I feel like you have one company that wants uh, you know cloud computing to do this. You have another company that doesn't want it to do that. That's where I feel like the biggest issue that we're seeing is we're seeing two. Everyone wants a piece of the pie. But it does feel like when it comes down to it, all of their marketing for some reason tells motherfuckers not to buy Xbox. <laughs> like, like I just, I just don't get how you allow one company. And this is not just a Microsoft thing. I'm, I'm yeah. sure other companies do this. But how do you let one company tell you the straight face? You know, what, this is what this is the type of content that we had in mind. You know, we want to do this. Okay, then let me see the marketing for it. Oh, uh, you know this. Uh, is can can we do it without telling them not to buy another product? Like like you, you don't see you don't see McDonald's with this new um you know telling people you, you should get a latte. You you should get an iced coffee. Like they want you to buy both of them bitches. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. You know, don't don't buy a chicken sandwich, buy a McDouble. They want you to buy them both. Now, obviously, that's not a, a fair comparison, but I'm saying it's it's mind-boggling to me that you let one portion of your company promote not buying another product from another portion of your company. Yeah, that, and, and, and and I don't know, but has that ever happened in Xbox in Microsoft history? I couldn't tell you if it has or not because I don't keep up with that. But I've never seen a point where Microsoft's business models of other companies. Allow that company to tell them not to buy something from another company. Yeah, it, it, it's again, it, it's stupid. Um, I, I think, I understand the marketing, but I think, like for example, I feel like what they needed to do is, I don't think they should. I, I hate the whole no console required. I think it should be now playable, now playable on it, this, now it, available it, on that. They can, li- they can literally just market something simple and say, play your Xbox on the go. Yeah. You don't have to tell people not to buy an Xbox. You still get the point across. And there's no amount of backpedaling and no amount of wordsmithing that you could do to convince me that there's not other ways of promoting a brand without shitting on another brand. No, you're right. It's like the addict show in ILP. You know, not one time in my years of doing them both did I tell you not to watch one show over the other. I want your ass to watch both of them. And the, the the ironic thing is that I feel like all the alternative ways to play an Xbox, right, are in, inferior to the console, in my opinion. I feel like all the alternative ways they want you to play, they they want you to play Xbox are inferior to the console experience, and um, and I think that's um, I think that's uh. That's really where the problem is. It's like, yo, you got to find product. You got a good product that runs these games. I think native will always be the best way to play video games. Um, and I think console will always be the best way to uh, uh, play video games. Um, all these alternative options, like I said, it's good. Like, I know I can play Xbox on my meta. I play Xbox on the meta quest via cloud gaming. It's decent, but it's not the best way to enjoy Xbox. And I, I played Xbox on my Samsung TV. It's decent, not the best way to do it. And I play Xbox on my PC and my Raw Gala. It's still not the best way to play Xbox. So that's that's where I I get disappointed in their tactics uh, when it comes to um, uh, dealing with their you know their advertising. Um, they gotta they gotta do a better job. They have to they gotta want to sell these consoles. They need the they need the sales of these consoles to pick up. Because a Game Pass can't grow to the magnitude they need to grow without sales of the Xbox consoles. Um, because right now, their Game Pass is not in a position. They don't offer a cloud-only Game Pass right now. Because right now, if if I'm if I don't have an Xbox and I got a Fire Stick and I want to play, the cost of Game Pass right now is too expensive for me to be playing just on my Amazon Fire Stick. 
You know what I mean? Because I would need ultimate, right, to to take advantage of that. Oh, I hear you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're right on that. <laughs> yeah, it's just. You know, and the, and the sad part is I know, like, a lot of Xbox people are going to watch this and like, oh, he came after the community. Uh, he did this, he did that. No, mm. I just want Xbox to be better. That's all. No more, no less. I, I want them to stop being a laughing stock of the industry. Mm-hmm. I want them to make good moves. You know, we used to, to, to validate, like, the moves they made. Now it's just like we don't even know what they're doing. For a, for a long time, I felt like they were on the right path. It's just there were certain variables that I didn't know that was going to get to the light eventually and we would understand. Now I don't know what the hell they're doing. I don't know what moves they're doing next. Uh, they won't even tell you. They don't even probably know. They're going to sit here and come out there and say, uh, you know, we, uh, we like the results of bringing four games to PlayStation, knowing damn well only one game was successful. Yeah. Uh, we're going to continue doing that. Didn't go into no detail of what the hell was next. Mm-hmm. Didn't know no any detail on like how they're going to determine what to bring to PlayStation. They just leave us with that dumbass statement and make us come up with the, what, the assumption on what he means. And then they and then people get mad smooth that we assume shit. They don't tell us nothing to not assume shit. Yeah. Yeah. Smooth is not happy with me. Yeah. I can tell. <laughs> Ooh, freaking, like... freaking um the oh my goodness you uh, you said something that tricked something I was trying to hold on hold on to it in my head and I and I freaking lost it um but 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 uh, did they confirm? I mean, I was trying to keep track of uh, X today, but I was busy at work today. Did we get confirm of a Call of Duty launching, like Modern Warfare Three? Is that? Is I don't think I actually that... saw like like place uh, Xbox like say anything. I do know most likely Valorant is coming too here soon. Valorant is that on console? Yeah. Not yet. It's about to be. Okay. Valorant and Modern Warfare Three. When does season five come out? I think that's I think that's a good timing. Um, uh, oh, I couldn't tell you. I, I th- we already have Call of Duty. I I think the games are too big. I'm like I don't want to install Call of Duty HQ. I'm 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 interested. There's 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 a couple Call of Duty games I'm interested in right now. Um, Modern Warfare Three is not one of them. I didn't I didn't I couldn't even get through that campaign. It's the shortest one. Um. I don't even think I got through Modern Warfare 2. I, but the ones I want to play, I want to play Vanguard. Um, I enjoyed Cold War. Um, but I think, yeah, I want to. I, I, Vanguard and this new one that's coming up are the only ones that I think I'm really interested in. And then, of course, some of the classic ones that came out. Um, there's some, I'm trying to think which. Uh, there's uh, quite a few Call of Duties that did. Uh, uh, eventually like skip and vanguard vanguard was one of them but um now nah, if they 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 kept tweeting like rumors and stuff like that and my thing is like if a, a, a big drop is going to happen immediately it's like just 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 say it already but if modern warfare 3 comes i mean that would be interesting it's not the one i'm looking forward to the most uh it's more so the the, the, the older ones um valorant i think that would be cool um, I think I think I think that would be I, I think that would be cool. I, I don't even I haven't played Valorant. I, I know it's popular on on PC, but we'll see what what else is going on. What else What else is going on with in a world of gaming? It, it, it's summertime, so I know it's sort of like quiet. I know Concords is it's been a thing. Uh, it doesn't yeah, seem game like it looks very doing too good like very average like mm-hmm. i don't think that game's gonna do very well yeah. is it gonna like flop immediately no but i don't think it's gonna pick up the audience that's required to keep a game yeah. like that around yeah. unfortunately it doesn't look bad i haven't played it yet i think yeah, i played it a couple of times i think it looks i i like the way it looks i i like the guardians of the galaxy inspiration characters um you could tell they took they they wanted to 
make the game very you know colorful and full of personality. Um, I do think the game should be free, um, only because these multiplayer centric games is that the games that it's competing with are generally free. Um, but I think it's going to find its niche. Hopefully, uh, it has a decent following and they support it. Um, I thought it was okay. I, I mean, it's not something I'm in love with personally. Uh, like I played it a few times, but it, there was just certain things about the game I didn't really, uh, uh, really like. But the uh, the extracurricular things about the game I I, I did like. Um, I'm trying to think what's uh I'm trying to think what else is coming out. Uh, Kenna Bridge of Spirits is supposed to be coming out next month on Xbox. Um, I'm looking forward to. I never uh, played that. Yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to playing that again. Um, and, uh, but this time on Xbox, I, I I had a good a good time with that game uh, when it launched. It was a two dude, that was a th- three year PlayStation exclusive. Damn shame. Um, what else is uh I think going on? Uh, is is we never yield? Is that out? Um. Aerial Knights, we a, never yield. I have an, I have a, a um, a review copy, so I don't know if it's like officially out. Okay, I'd like to give that game a try. Um, just reach out to Ariel. I'm sure he'll hook you up. No, no, I'll, I'll, I'll support it for that. I just didn't, didn't see it in the store, but I'll go uh, looking for it. Um, did Space Marine get delayed, or was that just a joke? I don't know. All right, because I know. Uh, cause September is about to, we about to enter the time September for all like, like some decent releases, star Wars, the outlaws due next month. So we should be hearing some stuff about that, uh, fairly soon. Um, being that that game is around the corner, looking forward to that. But, um, no, I mean, I'm about to get into some, some of this college football or at least try to, uh, play some more Flintlock. Um, you got anything else you want to say or share before we get out of here for the night? No, it's like, you know. You want to apologize? <laughs> nah, I ain't apologizing. Fuck them. Uh, you know, here's the thing, like, Smooth, you, you know, on the core, I just want things better. That's all. Yeah, yeah. I, I ain't trying to sit here and, you know, uh, get on people's case because I really don't care to be honest with you on that point either. It's like, you know, what's funny is, like, you always say that, like, a lot of, the core Xbox stuff I don't even play. It's yeah. like I play a lot of the side shit that Xbox makes. And so I guess maybe in that point, people don't consider me an Xbox fan. But it's just like, dude, I've been making content on Xbox since 2014. In some way, shape, or form, if it was a podcast or a video, I've been in this for a long time. You needed to tell me that People that have been doing this for six months or mm-hmm. a fraction of the following that I have or a fraction of the time that, that, that I've had put it into this is going to tell me I'm not an Xbox fan. Absolutely yeah. not. I got you. Um, all right. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. And wait, 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 wait. Bad, bad fact, I'm going to just do something that I haven't done in a while, it, uh, I want to make sure my internet browser might pop up. It did. My bad. Let me fix that. I want to check to see if we have any Patreon questions. I doubt that we do. Um, and if we don't, that's my fault because I didn't <laughs> let BG know. But just in case, uh, you need to start. Uh, I know posting it on Twitter. Nah, um, nah, we we'll t- nah, I'll get better because we. we I, if we can keep this date this day consistent, then it'll be easier for me to do so. Well, it's not, it's not just you. Sometimes it doesn't work out for me. Like we just got to put like a day in the in the in stone. Like, mm-hmm. all right, good. Thank you guys for tuning in to Planet Xbox Podcast. I am your host, Best Buy Kid Smooth, co-host, Attic Lord Gaming Attic. We will see you guys in a week. Xbox is the best box. I am the best bot. Good night or good morning if you're on the other side of the globe. We're out of here. Pita, 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 pita. Peace. Peace.